you know the crazy thing it's one parked on the sidewalk two meters away there's a paid parking lot not everyone's willing to pay for parking that's what i've said many many times not everyone is willing to pay for parking there goes one of the vehicles now oh is this oh maybe that's the driver is that the driver could be doesn't look very happy it's a 2000 peso ticket if he'd have just paid 60 pesos could have parked inside here paid parking lot there's a lot of space even the lady was saying i don't know why he didn't park in here that's the reality a lot of people have said to me build more parking lots there's so many parking lots that aren't being used because some people do not want to pay for parking that right it was flagged down for not wearing a helmet the unfortunate thing is he's carrying the helmet so he does have one but he just doesn't want to wear it unfortunately it's 1500 pesos wasted i remember when the mmda used to give warnings to people carrying the helmet instead of wearing it and nearly every time they say okay i'm sorry next time i'll wear my helmet they would ride away the moment they get around the corner they took the helmet off again i saw that so many times and it was frustrating because the enforcer gave them a chance they just gave them a warning only and then they just basically laughed at them he just rode away without a helmet while they were telling him don't forget to put on your helmet that's very stubborn very very stubborn good morning everyone mmda back on the road right now they're looking at that illegally parked vehicle next to the pedestrian lane there is a big sign that says no parking waiting stopping anytime and it's actually in mabuhay lane they're also looking at the car behind it's got its hazard lights on but there's no driver and remember the sign does say no stopping waiting anytime this is a major road rush hour traffic in the morning Pinapakiusapan po namin kayo, bawal po kayo. Unless gawan nyo ng garahe sa loob, doon po kayo mag-vulcanize. Ayaw namin mag-umpis ka. Kasi pangkabuhayan nyo yan eh. Di ba? Pero kung ipipilit nyo yan, eh mapipilitan din kami. Apparently, this vehicle is parked here because it's having a tire vulcanized. The MMDA said they already spoke to this shop before and asked them to stop letting customers park on the Mabuhay lane. But unfortunately, it's still happening. This little tricycle is also ticketed for the same reason, no parking along the Mabuhay Lane. It can affect a lot of people trying to go to work, trying to go to school, things like that. They've also requested for the tables and chairs to be removed from the sidewalk. Because what happens, you end up with people like this carrying their baby in the road, even the little child in the road, because the sidewalk is obstructed. It's quite dangerous. Imagine how many motorcycles are flying past, how many jeeps, cars, vans. You might remember before there were cars and jeepneys parked on this sidewalk. They were ticketed by MMDA. It's now clear. And further along on that corner, there used to be a lot of motorcycles parked on the sidewalk. That's also clear. So it proves that enforcement can affect change. You just have to be consistent in your enforcement. Because, of course, if you always give warnings, it's really hard to see a difference. Although saying that, a little further along you can see one motorcycle, so it's not 100% perfect, but you don't need to aim for perfection, you just have to at least improve things for people, for the public. This is a pretty narrow sidewalk, but it's already been obstructed by parked motorcycles. If you're wondering why they tilted the bike, they're looking for the engine number or chassis number, because it doesn't have a license plate. See that old man with the newspaper walking in the road? and everyone else, because the sidewalk got taken for parking. Look, even a little boy, oh my goodness. It's dangerous, honestly, it's dangerous. A little further along the road, you see this tow truck. It's hooked up to this jeepney, considered to be illegally parked. They are required by their franchise to have off-street parking. But of course, many Jeeps, taxis, and other BUVs, BUJs, etc., are parked on the road. They just flagged down that rider. The good news is he put a helmet on his daughter. The bad news is he's not wearing a helmet and he's driving in slippers. You'll see the enforcer just took a photo of this vehicle parked on the sidewalk. So that if there's a complaint later, they can clearly show where the vehicle was. You see all these people, what happens? They walk in the road. They don't even look behind them. So if a car is coming by or a motorcycle, they could really get hit. 
There is a car park to the right of us for a business which has spaces. So I'm not sure why they're parked on the sidewalk. They must be related to the residential property instead of the business. Someone just came out of the house now and said it's theirs. They actually have a huge parking area inside. So I'm not sure why it's parked on the sidewalk. Anyway, at least the driver can just take a ticket instead of being towed away since he is here. Aside from the car on the sidewalk, there's also a couple of tricycles in the road. But again, the drivers did come out. They did hand over their license, so it's only a ticket. I've seen them give warnings before. They say, oh, just move the trike, don't park here again. Next time they come through, it's parked in the same place. And again and again and again. So sometimes, or really, the only thing that works is ticketing or towing. Because then people don't park in the same place again because they don't want to get another ticket. This rider was flagged down because of the unauthorized helmet that's designed for use on a bicycle. It's very cheap to buy, 200, 300 pesos, but it doesn't offer you the right protection. Aside from that, he's wearing slippers. Anyway, I pull him off to the side, issue the ticket, and then send him on his way. You'll see here the road became a place for animals, for parking, for stores. That's the problem. The roads get used for a lot of things that they were never really designed to be used for. Maybe some people felt like it's okay to occupy the road because it's ongoing construction. I just noticed this rider is counterflowing. Why is he driving the wrong way? Jan Lang. Even Jan Lang, you can't counterflow. This is a major road. Look at how many lanes there are. The Skog team is guiding people to try and clear the sidewalk, clear the road. Actually, they're quite lenient. But most of the time, they just tell people, move your obstruction, and then they hope that they really keep it clear in the future. Compared to some clearing operations of the LGU, they really take everything. If you've watched the videos, they can be brutal. And quite amazingly, this vehicle is parked in the inside lane also. They are being issued tickets for illegal parking. In fact, just a little further along, you can see one of those vehicles that was parked on the center lane has been loaded onto a tow truck, flatbed. This road has a one-side parking ordinance, meaning they can park on the left, but they can't park on the right. One of the residents actually came out and said, it's a good thing you guys are back. I was worried you weren't coming back. You'll see the towing crew already making a video to document any damage on this vehicle before they pick it up and take it away. And it's the same thing over here, the towing crew making a video so that if there's a complaint later, they can show the exact condition of the vehicle and then they'll pull it up onto the flatbed. The truth is that many drivers don't really look at their vehicles that closely until they've been towed away. And that's the time they see, oh, I have a scratch on my wheel or on the door or something like that. And most of the time they were there before they got picked up by the tow truck. So that's why it's so important to make a video. Off comes the cover, so they can load this one onto the tow truck. Imagine, no parking on this side, plenty of signs, they park and then they even put cover on the car. Anyway, I think they hooked it up at the back. You see the wheels are already off the ground and it's hooked up by the tow bar. So that'll go to Tamana in Marikina City. Aside from the cars parked on the road, you've also got motorcycles like this on the sidewalk. That forces pedestrians to walk in the road. So I think they're also going to issue a ticket to this one. And I guess, oh, it's already been ticketed. So I guess it's just going to be loaded on the tow truck. This tricycle is parked on the sidewalk, but that's not why I'm looking at it. It's more about this cute cat that's on top. Good morning. Someone even left rice for you, huh? Apparently this driver tried to jump in and drive away while they were issuing a ticket. They're saying that she bumped on one of the motorcycles also. You see the towing crew here and look directly above it. A sign that says no parking, both sides. 